Hey guys, welcome back to a another video. We are currently outside of Michael's craft store. We are gonna go in and see what type of crystals that they have. A lot of you guys have been requesting me to go to Michael's to see if the crystals are real, if they're fake, and I've never shopped at Michael's for crystals ever. I didn't even know that they carried crystals. I just found out through the comment section on YouTube that you guys were seeing crystals at Michael's. So we're gonna go in and buy everything that we can find so we can see if the crystals are legit If they're real the price point all of that stuff And this is gonna be very similar to the five below video I did where I went to the five below store. I tried to find crystals I'm gonna look at them closely let you know if they're real or fake So if you guys haven't seen that video make sure to go watch it I will link it up above and in the description box down below. So let's go. Let's head into Michaels Let's buy as many crystals as we can and then we're gonna review and see if the crystals are real or fake. Okay, you guys, they have actually a lot of crystals here. They're all tumbled, some are raw, but there are a ton of crystals. They are pretty expensive though. Like they're all $24, so I don't know if I'm gonna get very many. Um, I will get a lot, but not too many because obviously this is pretty expensive. So because I'm here and I don't wanna buy everything, these are fake turquoise. I'm just gonna show you them now. It obviously says on here, reconstructed turquoise, so that means it's fake. So I'm not gonna buy this one. This Amazonite is pretty low quality, not the greatest, so I just don't wanna buy it. And this Rhodonite is very low quality. So again, I don't wanna buy it because it's really expensive. So not buying this one low quality. There also are raw crystals here. These are not gonna be fake at all. So your best bet is to purchase the raw. They have lots of raw stones. So if you guys for sure 100% want to avoid fake crystals, you should purchase the raw. All right, you guys, so I'm switching to voiceover mode here. You can see here's another example of the dyed howlite. This one was labeled, but I will say I did not see that consistently across the board on if crystals were dyed or plastic. Some things were labeled as glass, but not always, so it was very inconsistent in the labeling. They mainly had jewelry and beads, and they had a huge assortment of beads. I would say in general, they had over a hundred different styles of crystals. You can see right here, this one is the fake malachite and it's not calling out that it's fake. And right next to it, we have another dyed howlite that's representing turquoise. Most of these were dyed and with the bright blue colors and the purples, but a lot of them were surprisingly authentic. So you don't really know what you're getting unless you know what you're looking for in terms of fake versus real. They did have some impressive stones like morganite, but again, some more fake malachite right here. It's just not great that they're selling this and not calling it out. I'd say overall be really careful picking up random stones. They did have a lot of genuine, but they also had a lot of fake stones, so be very careful. Okay, you guys, that was a very interesting experience. They had a ton of crystals, lots of beads, lots of tumble stones. They didn't really have much raw stones. I'm gonna go home and recap everything that I bought for you guys so you can see it. The price point is very expensive. You can definitely get crystals from a real crystal shop for much cheaper. I will warn you, they are expensive. I did buy some fake, I did buy some dyed, and I bought some real. So we will go ahead and look at all of that stuff. I spent a hundred and forty-seven doll hairs on the crystals, so very expensive. And when you guys see how much I got, it's not a lot. So just be warned if you're buying crystals at Michael's, 
very expensive and i am gonna be making a part two you guys love when i burn crystals so i'm gonna be making a part two that's gonna be separate from this video i'm gonna walk through when i get home what i bought what's real what's fake what's dyed and then i know you guys like when i burn the crystals so that'll be in part two so that'll be next saturday after this video comes out that I will release that just because I want to do it in a separate video and more of an educational piece you guys can't always burn every crystal so I want to walk through I want to explain why we're gonna head home I'm gonna recap everything I bought all $147 of the crystals I'll explain why they're fake why they're dyed and why they're real so I'll see you guys very shortly Okay, you guys, so this is everything that I got from Michael. So let me walk you through exactly what we got. So we got one pound of Tiger's Eye for $24.99. We'll go ahead and open these up after I walk through them. Then we got one pound of Rose Quartz Tumbles one pound of labradorite tumbles and then another pound of howlite tumbles and then in terms of the beads and jewelry pieces i got this strand of morganite and morganite is actually a little bit more expensive so i wanted to get this one to see if it was genuine and two because it is more expensive then we got the plastic malachite this one i knew was fake right away it actually states right here that it's man-made so just check the labels then we have a dyed howlite bracelet that is supposed to be turquoise this is actually a diffuser bracelet where you put essential oils in here um this one doesn't say that it's dyed or fake howlite so that's interesting then we have this three pack of bracelets this first one looks like jasper the second one kind of it looks like preonite but i'm not 100 sure because the bees are so small and this i think is sediment jasper this often is man-made so that's why i wanted to buy that we have the three pack here it says semi-precious it doesn't tell you what the crystals are which is interesting it doesn't tell you what the bracelet material is and it doesn't say that any of them are genuine or fake whatsoever. Then we have another bracelet. This is an amethyst bracelet. And again, this one is one of the diffuser bracelets. This doesn't, again, tell you what kind of crystal this is or what kind of crystals these are. I know this one is amethyst and these are lava beads. Just like with this one, the black stones are lava beads, but it's interesting. They don't tell you what crystal this is. And then we have this one, which I think is supposed to be all lava beads, but these, I don't know if these are real. They don't feel real, but they aren't crystals. They're just rock. So I don't know. There's something about them that doesn't feel great. Again, this one is the diffuser bracelet. It doesn't really tell you much on the back. Moving over to this pendant. This is a real crystal, but it is in fact dyed. You can see that neon pink color. It says agate. So this one does tell you it's a genuine stone. It tells you it's agate, but it doesn't say it's dyed. And then we have this one, which is very clearly fake turquoise. I don't even know if this is how light. It looks just fake. I, I don't know what this is. So again, it's a semi-precious, meaning it's a genuine stone, but I I might honestly break this one open because I want to see what the inside is. And we have my favorite genuine stone, but this is not genuine. This 100% is fake, fake, really badly faked malachite. Like, look at the back, how scratched up this is you can almost see that all of the back is scratched so this one is just such a lie because <laughs> it says genuine stone malachite but it's not it's just not i'm actually gonna do a little bit of a test here taking a key this is one test you can do to see if you have a fake stone is scratch it you guys see that See all of those scratch marks? No real malachite would scratch like that. And then scratching this one. Oh, geez, look at that. It's just scratched. So these are really bad fakes. And let's go ahead and open these tumble stones since we already walked through the bracelets. 
there's just a lot of plastic here plastic jar plastic here plastic here it's just very unnecessary and very wasteful so that's my thoughts but here are the tiger's eye tumbles these are 100 percent genuine tiger's eye is very hard to fake because you see the flash you get you just can't fake that these are genuine tiger's eye tumbles so these are the rose quartz tumbles they are authentic i can tell you can just tell by the way they sound the way they feel the way they look but these are pretty low quality rose quartz you can see how almost white they look this one's a little bit higher quality you can see but let me show you a higher quality rose quartz just for comparison so here is a genuine rose quartz sphere and you can see how dark and juicy the color is compared between the two so the darker the color the higher the quality you can see this one has some really deep pink and then when you compare the two of them you can see the variance so these are unfortunately lower quality tumbles which doesn't make them less beneficial it's just they're kind of not the greatest quality so you're paying a lot of money for low quality crystals which is okay but you could get a set of tumbles like this from any crystal shop for cheaper that's much better quality so let's go ahead and open the labradorite curious if these have any flash on them i mean they do if you guys are seeing these coming out so these are fairly decent flash almost all of these pieces have very nice flash they don't have the best polish on them like you can see this one is like really raw and beat up but they are 100 percent authentic labradorite is so so hard to fake because you you just can't fake that you know you just can't fake it let me show you a piece of labradorite that's really well polished just so you guys can see the difference okay so this is a piece of labradorite that is polished very 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 well and you can see just the difference in the polish this just is a different quality on the polish this is a very cheap polish this is a very high-end polish so again doesn't take away from the healing properties doesn't take away from anything it's just if you want high quality polish the, that's the difference circling back to the tiger's eye this tiger's eye is very high quality the one in the bin this is a piece of tiger's eye from my supplier this one obviously has blue flash on it this one is just more of a regular yellow tiger's eye the blue is definitely more rare and harder to come by but you can see these are pretty similar in quality and this is a high quality piece so the tiger's eye is actually surprisingly high quality and then let's go ahead and open up the howl light and i know i say how light weird I have a speech impediment. Sometimes it's easier for me to add extra syllables or say it a certain way, so I'm sorry if it bugs you. Here we have the Howlite Tumbles. You can see, in fact, this is dyed. That's what makes the turquoise color. I'm not even sure that this one is even at all Howlite. So for comparison, this is a crystal from my shop, and these are the tumbles. So very, very comparable in quality, almost identical in quality. So you really can't go wrong with the Howlite from Michaels. These are definitely authentic. And a lot of you guys tend to ask me, how do you know it's not glass? Right here I have a piece of glass, and I don't know if you can tell, but there is just no imperfections on this sphere. And you can even see right there. You see that? That's like a glue or glass. So this is a glass crystal. When you hold the two in your hands, there is a pretty big temperature difference. And if you think you have glass, glass will always shatter. Crystals will chip. So if I were to drop this, it will shatter. If I were to drop this, it would chip. So glass shatters crystals never will again when you hold these two in your hands you can very much feel a temperature difference this is cold this is ice cold and really quick i will show you malachite genuine malachite compared 
to the fake malachite. You can see this malachite is very stripy. You can see the natural malachite has a wavy pattern. There's black in this malachite. There is no black in this malachite. I have a whole in-depth video about malachite, but again, from a temperature perspective, the real malachite is much heavier and this feels like plastic. It just does. You guys should be able to tell once you start actually touching the crystals. But visually, if you can't touch the crystals, this one looks like tiger stripes. Doesn't look like tiger stripes. Okay, you guys, so that was pretty much everything there is to know about these crystals. Again, this is 140 something dollars of crystals. They don't tell you what they are always and they don't tell you if they're fake or real. So it's definitely, you really have to know what you're looking for if you wanna successfully buy authentic crystals there. You really gotta know your stuff. So with that being said, I know when I did my Shein Romwe video, you guys had asked if I was gonna burn the crystals and I will be burning these ones but not in this video. I'm gonna be burning them in next week's video. So you guys are gonna have to come back if you wanna see the result of me burning these. I think you know which ones are gonna melt and which ones aren't. And there isn't really a good way to test for glass unless you break the crystal. So I can definitely break some of these open with a hammer, but I know already that they're not fake. So you're just gonna have to take my word on it, but we will be burning them to show you that these are not plastic and show you which ones are plastic. Stay tuned for next week's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if there is another store that you guys want me to go to to buy crystals and test them out, see if they're real, see if they're fake. Let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, I've already done Five Below. I've already done Shein and Romwe. I know you guys want me to do Amazon. Um, so I can do Amazon, but let me know if there's other shops you guys are seeing crystals at that you want me to test. All right, loves. See you guys on the next one. Bye.